What's going on, guys, gals, children of all ages? Well, probably not in this channel, but anyhow. I usually do a rant in my car because my car is my sanctuary and... Uh, <laughs> they hate it. I love it. But my car is my sanctuary and... Um, you know, when I don't feel like sitting at home and making a uh, a video, but I, I'm gonna make a video. I'm gonna make a like a little an area where uh, you know with a backdrop and a mic and stuff like that coming soon. Um, but I, I see all these people making the stupidest fucking videos I've ever seen in my life, and uh, it's just stupid, you know. But and it's getting views. I'm like, it just blows my mind. But today's the day of uh, Amy Coney Barrett's. Supreme Court nomination, and she's a very well-qualified person, and I trust Donald Trump's judgment. She, you know, was top of her class, one of the, if not the best student, um, but the importance of Supreme Court election is just phenomenal, because it stands throughout multiple presidencies because they, they hold that seat for so long. And um, it's, just, it's just, even when Trump's gone, God forbid we ever get some fucking scumbag in there that's going to fuck, fuck everything up and make us go backwards like we've been going for years. Um, you know, they that seat holds strong and, you know pretty much makes the final decision on, you know, where we go into the future, which is awesome, you know, um, can you imagine if Hillary got in and with all these seats and all these federal judge seats, over 300 federal judges would have been extreme hardcore leftists, all you people, you rich liberals, you fools, you're voting the fucking fox right into the hen house and you don't even know it. You're voting for your own demise. Biden, Harris, yeah, okay. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, it's fucking, it's sickening. It's so fucking sickening to see that these people are still brainwashed after four years. You've seen what these people put America through. You've seen what they do to people. You've seen how they act and what the policies are and you still vote left. You're still going to vote Biden. You're watching, you're in a line to go to the guillotine. You're watching people's heads get cut off and you're coming up on that. And you're still voting for the guy who's chopping the heads off. That's pretty much what you're doing. That's how horrendous this is. I had to make a rant about it because I, I drive by and I see these Biden-Harris signs and these people are clueless. You know, you wouldn't know freedom if it slapped you in the fucking face. If you if these people get in, your taxes will be ninety percent. You know, uh, Massachusetts is six point two five percent. Um, and I'm probably got a few of these things. You know, maybe, the, but I, I believe it's six point two five percent tax in Massachusetts. That will go through the roof. The taxes on you will go through the roof. The people that have houses on the water. And enjoy their freedom in their little communities where they don't have any blacks or Latinos or, or uh, you know, projects around. Um, they don't have to deal with that. They have enough money. They can stay away from that. They have no idea what they are voting for. They're voting for Biden. Biden's going to raise the taxes. Take it. You'll, you'll, they'll confiscate your house and property. Confiscate your bank accounts, pretty much. They're going to tax the wealthy. They already said it. Look at de Blasio. Here's a little trial run of your fucking bullshit that you want to in, in, uh, implement on us. De Blasio's raised taxes. Everybody's leaving. Everybody's already left. And the people who are there, he's going to tax them even higher to make up the difference of the people that left. Are you fucking all right? Are you that fucking retarded? I'm sorry, but you, you got to be, you got to be fucking retarded. Your, your skull's got to be fucking this fucking thick. Nothing's getting through. You know, it's just, it blows my fucking mind, blows my mind, and I, I gotta say something about it, and you know, and it's like, 
I'm in Dunkin' Donuts a little while ago this morning. And uh, another thing, the music. The music this country accepts as mainstream or top 40 is the most horrendous beta male queer bullshit that I've ever fucking seen in my entire life. The food that they, they, they the, the stuff they put in our food is an attack. They spray our crops with, uh, you know, uh, pesticides, another attack. They can control the weather, HARP and um, DARPA, both in cahoots together to work to manipulate the weather. Another attack. Our children in our schools attack. COVID, this fucking bullshit of COVID. I don't even have a mask. I'm not wearing a mask. Masks are for fucking sheep and pussies. You know, everybody's like, COVID's real, this and that. It's like, I'm not denying it totally, but I don't know anybody who's died from it. I don't know anybody who has it. I don't know anybody that knows anybody who has it. I'm in Massachusetts, liberal fucking shitholeville. Fucking, I've been fighting these people tooth and nail since the day I was fucking old enough to speak. I heard Mark Levin a while back, I don't know if it was in 2011 or something, say, these people are irrational. They want us to think irrationally, and we're not going to do it. I don't, I don't like, we don't like authority, you know? We don't like being told what to do. And it's like they're reinventing the wheel. The wheel's been turning effortlessly for, for so long, right? No problems at all. Now they want to implement something, you know, and then fuck the whole rotation up. Fuck everything up. These people are clueless. They're going to let, they're going to, we're going to let these people run our lives. You know, it's, it's horrendous. You, you can't do it. Walmart's got, got us pinned uh, against the wall. Um, you know, Amazon's got us pinned. They're shutting down mom and pop shops everywhere. You know, they, they, they don't want anybody to be prosperous. They, they want to take our freedom, take our guns, take, take our liberty Implement fucking injustice. Uh, implement everything injustice. The fucking the courts are crooked as fucking hell in Massachusetts. Fall River, New Bedford, Dartmouth, Westport. All th those that there's four towns in a row, pretty much right there. It goes if you're coming from, let's see, I guess north to south, or it'd be like northeast to southwest. I don't know exactly. Uh, but anyhow, it goes Fall River. Westport, Dartmouth, Mass uh, New Bedford. And then those four towns, two cities, two towns, are just so corrupt. And Bristol County, we're in Bristol County, Massachusetts. The fucking worst. I've grown up in this town, and it's just, I've seen the worst of it. You know, I've tried to obey. I've tried to... Uh, turn a blind eye, I tried to shut my mouth, it just doesn't work, because they hit you from another fucking angle, I'm not fucking dealing with it, you understand, you fucking liberals are gonna lose, and you better prepare to lose hard, because fucking Trump ain't taking no fucking shit, he ain't taking no prisoners, you're all fucking done, once and for all, you're all fucking done, liberalism will be extinct, in another couple of years, by 2025 or 2024, I, I believe liberalism will be extinct. Thank God. My father fought it. He was born into a liberal fucking family. He didn't like how they, they thought, so they black sheep his ass. And put him through fucking hell. He was homeless. He was on the system. He, he tried to get a fucking, get himself going. He was a building mover at a young age with my grandfather. And... They made him suffer and fight tooth and nail on every fucking thing. Every subject that you talk about, they fight you. Every fucking thing, they fight you. They know they're wrong, but they can't back it up. And they don't want you to win. So they, they fucking put up a stink. So you lose somehow. They make you pay. And they make you fucking pay and pay and step on you and fucking beat you down. And don't give a fuck. And it's either our way or the highway. And you know what I say? It's our fucking turn, motherfuckers. And you're going down this time.
Trump 2020, and there ain't nothing you're going to fucking do about it. 14th Amendment, look it up. We're so sick and fucking tired of it. We're so sick and tired of it. You know, they want to make no sense. They want to imply transgenderism and all this fucked up bullshit that nobody needs to fucking hear. This is all poisoning the minds of all of us. My aunts and shit, that they, they can't even fucking have a conversation. They say, oh, St oh, Stephen, oh, my God, you just, oh, you know, he, he's just too much. He, he doesn't, he doesn't have a clue. He doesn't, have, I don't have a clue. I'll debate you any fucking time of the day, anybody, any time of the day, and you're going to lose because you ain't got any common sense and you got no fucking decency and you don't even know your own history. You're going against my aunts and shit, right? They were born into a family and they were, they were around in the 60s and 70s when the, when Vietnam War was going on. So they're somewhat hippies, you know, uh, straight up hippies, actually. Uh, they grew up right in that time in the 60s, you know, and they don't get the big picture. Like, don't you get these people have been in power for so fucking long that they think they own us? And they pretty much do for to a certain extent. But we're not letting it. Trump came in at the fucking 11th hour and 59th minute and 30 seconds. We got 30 seconds to go before that fucking bomb detonated. And he snipped the fucking right wire and we're off with freedom. He turned the ship around, bailed us out. And now we're steaming towards success. And there ain't a fucking thing you can do about it. And I love every second of it. I love it. I can't wait until you motherfuckers are crying again on the ground and fucking throwing a temper tantrum because you're spoiled fucking brats. Never been punched in the mouth and never been told no. You never even been told no. You don't know what shit is. You what's a 916th wrench? Smack! You don't know shit. You don't even know what a fucking wrench is because you're useless. And you're going to tell us how to do it? The people who have been busting our fucking asses, smashing our fingers, fucking busy throughout the fucking day and night trying to support our families extremely high rent, no jobs, fucking shutting down manufacturing. Around this area, Fall River used to be uh, the fabric fucking manufacturing powerhouse. New Bedford, too, employed all the Portuguese immigrants that came over back in the day who respect this country. And they've been lied to. And the rest of us that have been lied to. The people that have come over here on the fucking Mayflower and are descendants of the people on the Mayflower. We've been lied to. And we've been fucking deceived in order to fucking vote a certain way. No more. No more. I'm done. I'm so done. I've been to Trump rallies and there's never been so much more, so much energy in all my life. I've never seen it like this, ever. My my grandmother fought and died for to, to preserve her children and preserve her family the best she could. She was 98. She passed July 27th. And she wasn't able to see the success that we're going through and the success we're bound to get in the end. Trump has taken us to a road to success like you've never seen before. He's anointed by God. And it's huge. It's bigger than what we could ever imagine. They've been hiding classified documents 25 years 25 years ago, they should have been released to the public. They've held, they've held, classific, uh, classified documents that have been held for 25 years, they have to be released by a certain time after that, 25 years, and then they release them, or 30 years, or whatever, you know, as the, you know, if it's if it's more important, the top, top secret and whatnot, it goes, you know, 30 years, 50 years to the, to the real big stuff, and more important stuff, they, they withhold for 50 years before they release it to the public. Trump's releasing it all. Let it out. Cures for cancer. Cures for fucking all kinds of diseases. Medicine. Helping the elderly. The VA. Helping our veterans. The people who fought and died for this country to preserve your way of life. You people that you want to fucking, you want to vote against our way of life. And it's your way of life too. I don't get, I don't get it. You people are so brainwashed that you'll go against your own fucking beliefs. Just to pander to these fucking scumbags. They ain't worth a fuck. Don't you get it? Don't you fucking get it? Life is precious. Kids are precious. We must teach our children right. Shut the fucking radio off. Anything to do with Hollywood, shut it down. Boycott it. I'm all done. Any, anybody's got anything to say? If it's a, I say, first off, who'd you vote for? Well, oh, Steve, well, you can't do that. Well, why can't I do that? You can do that. You've had your fucking power for so fucking long. You know? 
It's our turn now, finally. Our turn. The United States patriots of, the, of America. The real people who love the Constitution, love America, and love the people of this country and the way it's run and respect our history. That's what we need to do. Get rid of everything. It, I couldn't even tell you. Trump has answered everything. Every one of my dreams. Every one of my dreams he's answered. Build the wall. Get him out of here. Uh, illegal immigration. That's all for votes. Can you imagine if we left the borders open this whole time for these four years? What we'd be up to? We'd have a shit show on our hands. Don't you fucking get it? It's common sense, man. It's common fucking sense. I have to say it because it's like, you know, I just I just have to say it. It just it boils my blood. And, you know, I'm out there fighting every chance I get. Every chance I get. I got the Trump flag right here, baby. Ready to rock and roll. And we ain't taking no for a fucking answer. You know, we, you're not going to get, you're not going to get back in power because you lose, you lose, sir. Good day. Fucking screw. Anybody who's got a fucking problem with Trump, you ain't done your fucking homework because you ain't got a clue. You're going to vote against the best country in the, in the fucking world. The number one country in the world for freedom. You're going to go against it. You're a fucking sellout. Get the fuck out then. Get the fuck out. We don't need your fucking stupid ass. And those who are here for fucking benefits and can't stand the country and fuck Trump, fuck you. How's that sound? Fuck you. Trump is the man. Donald Trump. Donald J. Trump, son, 2020. And what are you going to do about it? You ain't going to do nothing because we're going to vote in numbers like you've never seen before. Red tsunami coming up. Going to beat you down with a fucking, with a hardcore election, baby. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah, I'm so, so pumped up. Check out Weekend Warrior on YouTube with the Keck Frog. Check out Band.Video and check out Blessed to Teach along with many others. You know, I do a shout out to everybody, but I'd I be here for a fucking eon. Rent is, out, is outrageous. I talk to people that, that, that have kids and... They're just suffering, you know, that through this COVID bullshit, and it is bullshit. You know, the, the rent is just outrageously high, and the jobs and the cost of living in Massachusetts is just through the roof, and we got to do something about it. And I know Trump is doing something about it, and everything takes time. They say, oh, why hasn't Trump done this or that? Listen, the powers that have been in the, in the people that have been in power... The powers that be have been in power for so fucking long. This whole ideology goes back to 1760. The satanic plot to deceive and take America from within has been going on since 1760. Shortly after that, we fought the Revolutionary War. That war is what we're fighting today still. They wanted to implement taxes on us. They wanted to imprison us. They wanted to take over. We didn't let it happen. George Washington fought those same enemies that we fought, we are fighting today. And I truly believe that. They're all diehard ancestors of the evil of the Illuminati. Don't believe me? Look it up. Go to James Red Pills America. He'll tell you all about it. It's a long story. It's a powerful story. It's the correct story. It's our history. If they erase our history, we will repeat it. And you fools will fucking vote them right in again if we don't stop them. So we cannot sit idle by this election. Please get out there and vote November 3rd or before. Get everybody you can to vote because it's, it's so important that you don't even know how important it is. It, it's beyond important. This is everything that's happened in the world has led up to this point, has led up to the election of this year. The evil that has. We have to succumb to such evil in such evil ways that we must go back to the roots, the roots of ourselves, 
God, the Constitution, common sense, eating good, living good, teaching your children. That's what it's all about. We don't have nothing else. There is no place to go if we leave here. If we lose America, where are we going to go? We're going to be fighting in some other country, fighting for the same values that, we're, that we have today to try to restore order. That's what Trump's in for, to restore order. You know? So get your fucking heads out of your ass, people. Stop being a fucking liberal douchebag because it doesn't get you nowhere. Put fucking blinders on to fucking see what you want to see. It's a bunch of shit. It's a bunch of fucking shit. So snap out of it. Vote November 3rd. It's fucking rock and roll time, baby. And it's fucking time to kick some fucking ass. Donald J. Trump, number one, and there ain't nothing you can do about it. Ha ha! God bless America. Talk to you guys soon.